So I'd like to introduce to you the idea of an animated zoo of fractals and chaotic systems. So what is important um, and for the fractals and chaotic system? So a fractal is a is a mathematical term that uh, that is not uh, that does not have a uh, absolute definition so far. Uh, some properties of fractals including uh, no integer dimension, so that the geometric shape that is uh, ideal and its uh, ideal form has uh, uh, and dimension number number that is not a whole number, so they they could occupy. So you never be able to measure its uh, some geometric properties. For example, you uh, might not be able to uh, measure the length of the coastline because the coastline uh, because the uh, they uh, the more precisely measure the longer it, the the coastline will be. And uh, here's another thing: um, if you divide those um, uh, big fractals into uh, its uh, separate parts, then one of the parts may look very similar to the whole part. So they have same uh, same level of exquisite. Uh, Structures into to the uh, infinitesimal spaces, so that's uh, one of the reasons they are called fractals. The second property is that they may be created by iterations. However, they are some cases uh, in the nature we where we will ex uh, observe a fractal like uh, stat statistical data is that in uh, that's especially common. Uh, if we look at the time series, the third property is that they have uh, small structures that are that are um, uh, have very complex uh, shapes and geometric shapes and topology structures. And uh, fourth property is that some kind of self self similarity. Now these self similarity might be exact similar similarity that uh, which means. Uh, if you have a fractal and you uh, and you do a linear transformation and zoom it to a small part, then the small part is gonna have the uh, the, the same uh, the same shape as as the whole one. So if you, you could you could uh, do a linear perform a linear transformation on a small part of one fractal and then make it uh, make it identical to the the whole thing itself. Uh, but it doesn't self similarity doesn't doesn't uh, have to mean exact self similarity, which means uh, that there are some fractals. Uh, if you zoom into uh, zoom into some areas of it, uh, you get uh, some other exquisite structures which uh, which share sim <coughs> very similar properties. So they may have uh, same Fractal dimensions, uh, same uh, structures of bifurcations, and etc. So that's uh, that's how a fractal is defined. Uh, so instead of using the Mandelbrot uh, definition of uh, to to, to uh, make it technical that every fractal has fractal dimension, uh, which is not uh, which is not the general meaning of fractal, we could. Uh, use the Fisher's idea of using th those properties to consider whether a geometric form should be considered with the fractal theory. So, so thing, uh, very similar things happen with chaotic uh, systems, uh, but something different is that you can observe if a system is chaotic by observing whether it's non-linear, whether it is whether it has positive Lyapunov exponents and whether it uh, has uh, demonstrated some other very important pro properties like extreme sensitivity to initial parameters. Uh, the extreme sensitivity means that if you if you have a, si uh, a system that is uh, relying on one of the uh, at least one of the initial parameters and for a linear system, if you change the initial parameter a little bit, you would get the result. You get the result that is uh, that is 
has some has some kind of errors. So, and 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 the error on the result of the of the system is is gonna is is going to is going to be predictable from the um, initial parameters. But for some chaotic system, if you change initial parameters at some points for a little bit, then the then the system is going to behave. Uh, in a very different way. On other occasions, maybe maybe there are that there are once the, the one system has uh, and for example one parameter, then you change the parameter by a large bit. But because of the structure of the chaotic system, uh, sorry, the, the the trajectory of the the, the form of the trajectory of the uh, system uh, and and and. and and if you think of vector fields, uh, then in sometimes it's not going to cause very big difference. So that's that's the difference between those uh, systems, and and it demonstrates lots of uh, uh, other ide ideas like singularity, replication, quasi or other order, and uh, note and namely um, and another very important. A uh, very important thing that we are uh, we constantly see uh, on in a number of animation is the existence of strange attractors. So, are fractals related to chaotic, chaotic systems? Well, uh, if you consider the uh, they uh, if they are created with uh, iterations. Uh, you could say that uh, fractals are the spatial aspect of the chaotic, chaotic systems, and chaotic systems are are a timeless fractal system. But they are not. Uh, but these. Uh, but this is not a very technical description. Uh, this this argument uh, occasionally uh, is occasionally true because uh, fractals and chaotic system are origins from origins from. Their like ancestors, uh, namely dynamical systems, <laughs> and also if you think of <coughs> RNGs, which means um, random number generators, they are going to be they can be created with fractal system and chaotic system. So uh, the way that people create RNG is to create a very complex uh, one of them using uh, the using the Sine waves to uh, the the power of sine of s some kind of power inside the sine function, and then and then takes uh, and then do modular calculation or do um, or do or fract uh, fraction calculation just uh, make the use the number and uh, minus the whole number part of the. The, the number which are which are uh, the pseudo pseudo random number uh, generators that we usually see in the numerical computing books, uh, they kind of use the property of fractal and uh, chaotic system, but they are also linked to this uh, things like number theories and and uh, power spectrum analysis. Uh, so that's uh, that's. Uh, it's too different from what we are discussing here. So, so most of the videos from this panel are called um, are <coughs> some kinds of deterministic chaos. So deterministic means everything is known. Uh, it, it means everything can be can be described by a predefined uh, expression. Now this this uh, vocabulary might seem contradictory. How do you create a chaotic system out of a deterministic system? Uh, it basically what it basically says uh, that a, a very complex structure can be created with a with very simple iterations, uh, and the and this this argument is proved is demonstrated by a number of the. Uh, the, uh, by a number of uh, examples.
For example, the random mirror system is considering the iteration of string, and you replace some kind of string uh, with uh, with another set of string, a string, and and you keep doing you keep doing that, and this iteration is going to form sometimes form a fractals. Uh, and the mirror system is actually a system that transfer strings to its corresponding geometric shape. And lots of fractals that, that are created within the mirror system are exactly self-similar. So, so by itself, I mean geometrically self-similar. Uh, so let's look, have a look at this modified cough curve which can be found in the channel. So, so if you start with going forward, turn left, turn right, uh, sorry, turn left, forward, turn right, forward, turn right, forward, turn left, forward, and uh, this is giving a, um, so if you look at the modified cost curve, it's actually iterating from this this shape. So going forward, turn left, forward, turn right, forward, turn right, forward, and turn left, forward. So this is the can be re represented by a string um, f plus f minus f minus f plus f, and you keep replace replacing each of these line segments by the whole part. So that means the next iteration you you get will be more complicated and uh, the more iterations you get the more sophisticated the um the shape is and you can actually see that uh, from some spectral system if you keep doing that it's gonna occupy it's going to occupy some areas and maybe there it's maybe it's not Occupying the whole part of error, but but it's, it's but still it's, it it is not a one-dimensional shape. Mm, so uh, for the, for for these fractals, it's uh, very useful to calculate the fractal dimensions. The more you can search for um, the algorithm beauty of plants and the uh, L system, but we are not going to uh, get too deep about that. Uh, second is the uh, some distributions of the the time-wise distribution of the points on a dynamic system. So one very simple example is uh, from a ecology, ecological equations, uh, which which is about the population model. But it's, uh, the the way of the way of is raising a this. It's called a uh, logistic map. Is that uh, you take one point from from uh, like a zero a zero point four zero, and you have a parabola which is uh, expressed by one minus lambda x squared, and then you get a straight line which expression is y equals x, and you keep. Uh, from this, uh, the, from the first point, you go up to vertically to find parabola, and then go and then go horizontally to find straight line, and get to find find the find the parabola again, and, and you keep doing that, it, and 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 it's going to give you a co or something called a co a cope pipe plot. But uh, what's important is that we can represent the iteration time by colors. So that the more the iteration time is uh, is the um, is uh, then the the more the the closer the color is to uh, the red. So red color means high number of iterations. So and if we if we uh, use one of the frame as uh, one of the picture as one frame and we keep uh, uh, and change. The concavity of, sorry, not the concavity. The, sorry, I change the, yeah, the concavity of the uh, parabola. We can have a 
the mission. And uh, for the first section, it has, it has a very uh, stabilized uh, converged point, which means that uh, the, the series converges to one single point. But at some, at some stages, this is going to change. You can see that the rate of convergence is lower and they bifurcate into a periodic map. And then it goes from period 2 to period 2 to the, set, uh, to the power of 2 and then to the power of 3. And then it fills up some spaces. And you get uh, have some very different and very complex uh, structure when you have a high number of this. But occasionally it's going to get a, like a, a simple structure. For example, if you suppose at some point of the video, uh, you are going to have this uh, this very this very similar. Uh, the, this, uh, suddenly, the, suddenly the uh, com the complex structure turns to be uh, a a very simple one. So a similar thing happens for the tenth map, which is described by one minus uh, lambda times x, uh, uh, the absolute value of x. So uh, if you change the gradient of the the, the tenth, uh, you can see this is the still a function with only one peak, so one maximum. However, it's however the um, the behavior of bifurcation is different, and uh, I'm also planning to do a smooth transformation from uh, like uh, uh, something to the power of uh, uh, a number that is very close to zero to some t to one minus lambda x power to uh, a, a value that is uh, close to four. To see that what happens if you take uh, uh, lines with line with a different order of powers. So this is the tenth map. So that's important. And for more, you could uh, search on logistic math and applications in ecology, but of course, you can find much more about that. Um, what we are also interested in is the, the region for a dynamic system which uh, the points do, do not diverge to infinity. So if you think about uh, the uh, iterating uh, x to assign x to the value of x, uh, x uh, squared uh, plus c. Uh, it reminds people about them, the famous uh, Mandelbrot set, but we could generalize the expression. So this is the um, um, the sensitivity of the Mandelbrot set with, uh, with respect to uh, the number of power. So the, only the power is changing, but the expression is still c assign z to z to the sum power plus c which c for which c is the starting value of c right so that you could create a animation and in some stages so if you start by number that is very close to 2 you get a uh, something that's similar to a Mandelbrot set, but you could change the you could change the power to control how many how many paddles you know if if you call the paddles uh, do we 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 want there. All right. So 
If you want more, more about that, just Google these things. Um, but also, but also, we could create something with linear transformations. For example, the bounce state form, which is um, this is a very special kind of factor that I haven't searched much about it, but I just made one weird video about. It. And also we could have continuous system instead of having the discrete ones because uh, all of the things, all of the expressions that we mentioned above are are for the discrete system. So you replace uh, x or a set of points by a, a, a new number of them. You could have a continuous system which are which can be described by um, differential equation or either differential equation or partial differential equation and. That's the pedestrian, not very pedestrian. That's the that's the um the the one that's probably that's probably the most famous chaotic system, which is called the Lorentz map, which is used to, uh, which is used to, uh, for that's already used, and from this structure, you can see that you can see that a the dynamical system can have some regions of um, very predictable motion, motion, but at some point it's going to reach uh, some boundary values, which uh, things get more complicated. And even if the iteration time keeps on, the the um, trajectories is are still going to lie. Uh, with uh, in 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 certain within certain set of set of uh, region uh, sorry uh, within certain region and it, and it's going to fill up the space, but um, of, uh, but it's it, 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 so since we know that we it fills up the space we can uh, we can say um, let's calculate the density if you slice uh, if you slice uh, slice this this disk. With uh, one kind of sections and then calculate its cor correlation dimensions and then and other uh, interesting parameters. And these are uh, like uh, have more. Th these are ha having more um, practical use than the, the the system that's mentioned above because uh, the. Manbro said the uh, the complex dynamics, the logistic maps are are uh, just a, like a demonstration of uh, discrete fractals, which are not uh, which do not have so so much widely uh, used uh, widely embraced uh, operate uh, sorry uh, applications. But this is different. So, but also you could generate fractals with sequences, which you, which are kind of if, uh, you could go to like search for a two two nine zero three seven, which creates uh, fractals with a. This is a pretty amazing um, sequence that I recently discovered. But let's skip this part since. Uh, uh, since I haven't done much, uh, haven't done the plotting of it, I'm going to, I'm going to probably write a uh, plotting package for for uh, some more abstract sequences, so you, that you could do this in a very large scale. And also, if you think of a, a uh, nonlinear, sorry, a sequences with iterations, uh, this is a called a, a better. Uh, the sequence is, uh, is described by the by the plot that uh, that is the uh, left uh, that's in, uh, in the left left hand side and uh, in the left bottom corner. So if you zoom, if if you scale one part of the fractal and uh, by shearing it a little bit, you get uh, some very similar copies of the the um, the whole part of it. So for this series, it's uh, it has a non-periodic order, and if you perform a uh, 
a spectral density as estimations on it, the 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 algorithm for performing the the density estimation is going to fail, and and also the Fourier Fourier transform is is going to uh, fail. But uh, usually we think that it's it's not it's not very meaningful to perform uh, such operations on that. But just uh, recently I. I read that from uh, uh, some uh, two sources uh, that says if you take a fractals, a fractal sequence, and you and and you make a spectral density estimation, and you also make a um, for a tra for a transformation uh, on the spectral density plot, you you are going to see widened peaks with lots of noise backgrounds. Uh, so uh, that's kind of a very interesting numerical uh, experiment, but I, I am not very, sh but I'm not very sure the, the, about the background of this. So we also get non-deterministic chaos, which are owned by uh, some uh, probability, uh, some random motions with some probability. So uh, in in a link this to random walks or like uh, or, or link this to um, Brownian motion and also you have the the le uh, the, the levy motion and uh, what we can do with animation instead of just plotting one of it you could plot uh, a multiple of those uh, particles uh, starting at one uh, one fixed point or with a certain source, a, a random source, and you can see although we can't, although we cannot predict uh, in the in sometimes the behavior of uh, one system, we can uh, for for this addition of the probability models, we could predict the uh, the density that uh, that the the probability density that a point falls on. So this video. So, um, we've rendered a lot of fractals and uh, lots of animations. How do we classify them? Well, this is classified by generations, so it's how they are generated. Like, say, by iteration, some kind of some systems, and by the system that they're creating them. And secondly, whether they are stable, or whether they have positive, uh, positive sorry, Lyapunov exponent and uh, Kosmorov um, measures and entropies, and also they have some kind of, uh, do they have self similarity for for the chaotic system? Uh, do they have uh, verification value if I take some uh, parameters and 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 then change it a little bit? And what about singularity? And and also considering the periodic periodicity, can we find can we find a um, a purely um, periodic function uh, that describes its motion, or can we uh, can we use a Fourier transform to uh, to analyze the components of the uh, the power the Sorry, the, the 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 power spectrum, and and also, um, can we use some kind of trans transformations to analyze if if it is a quasi periodic order or a non non periodic order? Then you get fractal dimensions, and. I added an S there because there are different definitions of fractal dimensions. Uh, there are information dimensions, um, Hausdorff, Hausdorff, Hausdorff dimensions, and uh, the uh, Lyapunov dimensions, and uh, and some uh, and oh yeah, they the correlation dimensions, and also the we can relate some of those things to fractal derivatives, but I haven't figured out how to how to do this 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 thing. Right, so 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 this so the previous part so this part are um, 
I, I got uh, a numerical calculation course to calculate this part, but uh, and we can visualize these things, but I haven't f quite figured out how do we calculate fractional derivative directly out of the data from the simulation. So the link to the reality and why is that important? Uh, this is particularly a good question for today because because um, in, in, in this century, especially after 2010, uh, we see uh, we, uh, there, there are uh, uh, a number of books relating them to some existing um, mathematical model to model the not only for ecology, but, but also for uh, the models, the, in, the engineering mo models, and uh, lots of other uh, and lots of other complicated things. And why is it important? Well, for, well first of all, you could generate uh, honestly, you could generate wallpapers, but, but uh, hopefully, you will have some more decent meaning in the future. But it's, it's, it's not too bad if they don't, because at least uh, it's, it's, it's quite fun to investigate those uh, it's, it's exquisite structures of fractals and chaotic systems. Thank you for your attention.